here. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, you know it. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we see. So pull them out. Pull them out. Uh, looks like we got the two underground seas. Do I remove that from the camera? Go ahead and grab this other one. I don't know my idea of why the ship should like this, but you know. Alright, then we got the Bayou and Tropical Island. So let's go ahead and take a look at them while they're in, in the cases. Make sure we don't see anything to stand now. No, we can't see the back of that one. Um, seems to be in good shape. I mean, it's hard to... They look... This one looks good so far, but I'll know more once we touch it and authenticate it. Uh, this one as well. Uh, no back. Uh, I mean, it has the normal wear that a dual lane gets. Uh, this one's definitely more played. And the, uh, oops, dropped the underground seat. The underground seas from the pictures before the purchase seem to be in pretty good good shape and as we all know underground seeds are the most expensive dual land um i mean so let's see here this one this one looks a little different than this one if you guys can see hold on we got some shadow it's hard to see on the camera i know i apologize for the glare it's the cases all right i'm going to go ahead and set this on its side and uh, i'll take each individual one out here real quick and then we'll continue to other things so i'm just going to take them out of the top loaders Without touching the actual cards. Uh, I made a, you know, four for one best offer with this guy. Uh, cost me a pretty penny. But I am wanting to get into Legacy, and, you know, this is the route you gotta go. This one. Seems the Bayou is the only one that's double sleeved. I'm gonna go ahead and investigate this one first. Um, I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna touch them here first, and then we'll go and authenticate them more to be sure with uh, with the jeweler's loop, as I have mine right here ready. Um, usually, it's pretty obvious. And touch. It's got the click. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna. The back usually fakes or super high glossy. Um, I mean, it looks looks good. Um, rounded edge, no squared edge. You want to make sure it's you know they're not trying to trick you with a reback. We'll know more once we investigate with the jeweler's loop. I'm gonna go ahead and. Move this one right here. All right, we're gonna do the tropical island next. I'm sorry for the camera angle. It's just kind of the way it is. Doing this on my phone. This one. It's kind of hard to get the click. Um, I mean, it's got the normal wear and tear. The back doesn't look super glossy. I mean, so far on these two, from what I can tell, they look good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with this Underground Sea first, because it was the other one that I was a little bit more suspicious of. Okay, I mean, these are in really good shape. Um, it's just more authenticating them. I mean, you know, obviously they've got their wear, but you ought to see my bad lambs I own. That thing, the corner is about to fall off, but it's leaf playable, and that's all I'm worried about. 
Um, I mean, the wear looks good. Not super high glossy. Um, it's got the click. The texture feels right. Um, like so we'll know more once we investigate it with the jeweler's loop. All right, now here's the one when I was just looking through the top loader. I mean, you can kind of see a little better. I thought the colors looked a little different on the one on the left and the one on the right. Um, it's, it may be harder to tell through the camera, but I felt like there was a difference in person. Um, but as we all know, with these older prints, there can be variations. Um, it's definitely This one's definitely got some more wear on the back. Um, these are all things I knew. He sent me all the pictures. Um, doesn't seem to be super high glossy. Um, texture feels right. Let me check. Kind of. All the bends. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and rotate the camera here. And we will go ahead and let me make sure you guys see it. We'll start with the bayou again. Make sure you guys can see everything. And I'm going to go ahead and for sure authenticate these as best as I can. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, the letters. Usually the letters should look like they're kind of floating. They shouldn't have pixels in them or anything like that. Uh, the rosette looks good on this one. Um, you want to make sure the border doesn't have pixels or rosette in it. It should be solid white as it is different layers or different prints of the card. Um, I mean, everything so far looks good. I didn't have much worry about this one. This one looks pretty good. Um, now, each color of magic there's specific things printed in them and usually it's hard for a person who wants to fake these like an actual print shop that wants to fake them to get these right so i mean they can it may cost a bit more but like i mean let's say they spend a hundred dollars and they send a sell a dual land for 200 i mean they're making a hundred you know they make a hundred percent profit so you know even then it and it's just more of a and these can be faked. You know, a lot of it comes down to texture of the card. Having ones that you know are real. And if you're ever unsure, you know, buy your cards through a large seller or somewhere that guarantees. And you can send them in to have, a, have them authenticate. Or you can even send them in to PSA. So, after doing further research on this one that we have done, uh, everything looks... Real, I can try and show you guys through the jeweler's loop what I mean. Let me see if I can get the camera on it here. Hold on. Give me one moment. Okay, let's see here. I don't know how this will work. Ah, ha, ha, that does work kind of good. So, you should see. So, we are in... Hold on, let me, let me see if turn the light off helps. It does not. That just made it worse. I think it moved off of it. But you guys kind of saw it for a second there. Um, on the green mana symbol, no matter how old or new the magic card is, there is a L shaped of red dots. And that is usually a pretty good sign that a card is real. Uh, hold on here. Trying to get it back on the green dots. The only bad thing about this one, it's like so tall and big that sometimes when it gets knocked off, I, I have a hard time. Some of the other ones, this one goes in a lot closer than other ones. You can get a you can get one of these jewelers loops for like a buck. I think I paid ten for this one offline. So okay, so around the green man symbol, you can kind of see the. Uh, I know this is hard because camera and this light don't mix well together. But you can see the L in there. It's clear. Um, so, okay. I'm going to go ahead and move to the next card. I'm going to set this one down. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move to the Tropical Island. Here is the Tropical Island. I'm going to go ahead and 
authenticate this to the best of my knowledge, which I mean, usually if one's fake and I think it is, I'm usually right. And if anybody out there ever wants me to authenticate, um, I can as well, to the best of my ability. I am not a professional. I am not no PSA or whatever, BSA, BSG, you know what I'm talking about. So, so far, everything's good. The rosette pattern looks good. Uh, no pixels in the white border. Um, check the letters here. The letters seem good. There's some definite nicks on the letters. So it's, uh, There's like nicks on the letters on this card because it has a lot more wear than the other ones. So it kind of looks like there's like pixels in the letters, but that is not the case. It's just wear and tear. You can see all the nicks up and close, but the letters are definitely floating. And, well, they look to be floating. It is just done by different layers. So let's go ahead and turn it over, and we'll... Uh, you know, authenticate it. Uh, got a little mark right there. Um, it's like a little bend. Let's see what it looks like up close here. Right. Yeah, it just looks like a little bent edge. Okay, so like I said, there's, there's, I showed you the green tall tale of how to authenticate. There is other ones in the other mana colors, but that one is definitely the easiest. And sometimes, I don't know why, um, I don't work for wizards, but supposedly that's one of the harder things for fakes to, uh, try to imitate is to get that L shaped in there. I'm sure it probably wouldn't be hard. I used to work on a printing press, but the way they do these cards is, it's, it's pretty, you can't just run this through on a cardboard. They do multiple layers, um, you know, but uh, specific card stocks, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. So after inspecting the tropical island further, I've come to determine that the authenticity of this tropical island is 100% real. Uh, no questions asked. Same as the bayou. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move to the underground sea that I was pretty 99% was real when it was in the uh, hard case. Um, so now that it's on the black surface and you guys may be able to see, I'm, I'm able to see a lot more blemishes and marks and nicks on it, um, which is hard for these kinds of things to show up through camera pictures, but I'm not really too worried about it. I just want to play with these cards. I'm just enjoying, you know, putting these in my collection. It's a long video, eh? Well, I guess four cards, four authentications. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start. With, uh, let's take a look at the letters. Uh, just like the other one. Uh, this one's got nicks and bumps on the letters, but the letters do seem to be floating. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the rosette patterns up here in the actual C part of it. Um, everything seems to look good. Let's check the border. Make sure everything looks good there. There is no pixels on the border. The border, the border is by itself. Uh, I mean, let's check the letters up here. Uh, rounded edges. I'm not worried about the texture of the card. Let's go ahead and flip it over. When we flip it over, uh, we can definitely see a lot more wear on this. And as everybody knows, they can do a light test. Um, usually with the light test, you should be able to say, see both sides of the card with the light. Um, you can kind of see the blue layer. I mean, like, if it's fake, the light won't really go through. It'll go through very weirdly. It won't go through at all. It's it's usually pretty off. It's the best tool for spotting fakes is the feel of it and your knowledge with the card. And just overall, if you're a long-term match player and you're buying cards that you're worried are faked, you're probably familiar with the texture of magic cards and especially older magic cards. Um, now, it doesn't mean here in the future that some of these fakes will be even able to pass us who try to authenticate. So I am checking the green dot. So there is some wear and tear on the green dot, and there's actually like scratches through it. So actually one of the dots is kind of missing. 
Um, but I can kind of see, like, that it was there. I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. it it's, it's pretty obvious this card is real. Um, you know, we got the click. You hear the click? We give it the flick. We give it the click flick is what I call it. The, the click, the flick. All right. So let's go ahead and move. Um, well, should I say, after further examining that underground sea, I am 100% on its authenticity, and I have no questions. Uh, moving to the last underground sea, um, that I was the most concerned with. Out of these, there is a noticeable color difference between the two, and... It could be just as simple as different presses, different, well, it pretty much is different presses. There, there ain't gonna, you can't have just overall wear it like that. That doesn't work that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, so first look, um, this one is a lot cleaner. Um, there's not as many nicks and things on here, which is also, which is also a tea bit m more concerning than the other ones. But I, without going in first look here, I'm pretty positive this is still real. The feel was there. Um, we can do the click and flick. Let's do the click and flick real quick here. So, hold on. Let's get the, see this one. There we go. Well, we had it. You hear the click? If it was a fake magic card, it would, it would almost bend. Do the flick. All right, now let's go ahead and inspect it further with the jeweler's loop. First, let's check out the letters. Um, hmm. Concerned about this one. This one is. Let's go ahead and look at it next to this other one here. Let me go ahead and well, I'm gonna have the other one sit next to it. I'm gonna do a little inspection on this other one that I'm for sure on. These letters are solid, like. I'm a little worried about this one because it almost looks like there's pixels in the letters, like. The letters almost have dots in them. Which is not the way a magic card works. That is not normal. As we saw, as I checked with the other one that I was pretty sure that I'm, that I authenticated, I am positive that one is real. The letters are floating. There's no dots in it. Um, let me, let me do a little comparisons here. Let me, sometimes the best way to authenticate is to have a real one with you. And, you know, this could just be different print shops as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll know more when we turn it over here. But the letters on these, well, this one is very, not, so I'm looking at them both side by side right now. As you guys can see, the one on the right is what we're concerned about. The one over here is the one we've authenticated already and is sure it's real um the edges are round let's inspect that little blemish right there look at the card from side on here make sure it's not thick um so sometimes when i have a worry you can kind of look at it with a black light too also here with a black light. Um, so 
So, as you can see, the real one, it has kind of like a, a glow to it. I know this isn't the best camera angle, but it seems to be okay. So let's go ahead and flip it over. Now I'm going to go ahead and inspect it without investigating the other one. So first off, okay. So the color on the back, it looks good. It doesn't have too much gloss. It looks good. It's got normal wear and tear that a Magic Card this old has. Um, now let's go ahead and inspect the rosettes back here. So, it is missing one of the red dots, but i pretty positive I can see the remnants of it. Let me get my flashlight. We'll do the light test. So, no. Alright, got a really bright-ass flashlight. So let's go ahead and do the light test. Um, so after inspecting it with the jeweler's loop, I am convinced that it is real, but we will do a light test on this one because this is the one that we had to worry about. Oops, sorry, sorry. From the get-go. Um, this one could definitely throw some people off, but... Well, feeling this one and feeling the one that we're for sure about... Hmm. Did the bend test there. As you can see, it, it seems to have bent back pretty quickly. Um... They both seem to feel okay, so... Grab the camera here and go ahead and do a light test. So this is the one we're concerned about. We can kind of see both layers of the card. Let's set the one on there that we're for sure about. We know this one's real, um, I would say. They look fine. Let's go ahead and put the bayou on there. Oops, sorry, camera. The bayou looks good. So, I did the bend test on this one, as you can see. Let me go ahead and turn this flash off. I did the bend test on this one, too, and as you can see, it's not, it's not coming back to its shape as quick as I would like, but... I mean, it is a 20-year-old car, pretty much. Huh. And it's definitely got some wear on it. Let's look at them both side by side here. So left one, real one, right one. Well, left one, okay. Left one, we're 100% real. We're not concerned about. Right one, we were a little worried about. So let's go ahead and do a little black light. So as you can see, the right one, it's got that specific glow to it. This one seems to have the same glow. I don't really think the black light test is 100%, you know, like, ooh, this proves something's wrong. But if you, have a, if you have a fake, sometimes it can be the difference of showing you that it is fake. So, yeah. Look at them with the flashlight here. That thing's too damn bright. It's possible I might have one of 
my friends I know who is also good at authenticating cards. Give this one a look. I'm going to say it's real. Uh, it was from a reputable seller. I didn't have any issues about his authenticity. He had sold previous cards. Um, re previous revised dual land cards. And nobody had any issues with them. So just always make sure you inspect who you're buying from. Just don't buy from Joe Blow with zero, zero sales. Make sure you're buying. Uh, because sometimes, yeah, you can get your money back. But it may be tied up for a while. And there still is the possibility that you could still lose the case. Uh, make sure you always do video evidence of when 